How do organisms reproduce? Today we are going to discuss about another important life process that is reproduction. So in the previous chapters we learnt about nutrition and uh, other life processes that help the organism to survive. So an organism it needs to carry out so many activities, so many life processes to stay alive. Now what is this life process, what is this reproduction, how does it help the organisms? Here the lesson is how do organisms reproduce? Before we learn how do organisms reproduce, first we need to know answer for a question why do organisms reproduce? What is the need? An organism to stay alive. It has to carry out so many activities, it needs to acquire food, it needs to acquire oxygen and all the basic necessary things. So it has to carry out so many reactions just to live for itself. It's a very difficult task but it does, every organism it does, it acquires the food, it gets the oxygen, it gets the food and it lives and it reproduces. That means it produces another organism of its own kind. To reproduce a new organism, it needs a lot of energy. It needs a lot of materials. Even then the organism efforts to acquire a lot of energy, to acquire a lot of materials to produce the young one of its own kind. What is the interest in producing the young ones of own kind? So here the question, why do organisms reproduce. If there is no reproduction, there is no diversity of life. There is a lot of diversity. We see various kinds of species of plants and animals. So in this world, if all the organisms are created only one without any ability to reproduce, if that organism dies, its existence is gone. No one identifies that. See, if there is only one single ant, you can't identify its existence. If there are groups and groups of ants, then you can identify its existence. Every species, it can get its significance when they are in large number. Every organism, it wants to perpetuate its race. Organisms want to perpetuate their race. Perpetuate their race. That means race in the sense, their race in the sense, their own species organisms. Tigers wanted to improve tiger population, humans wanted to increase human population, birds wanted to increase bird population in such a way. Every organism on this planet, it wants to produce its own kind in large number. That is the reason why organisms reproduce. Right? So you, we see the same thing in human beings also. That is the reason for increase in population. The human population is rapidly increased number of times in the past one decade, one yeah, hundred years. In the past hundred years, you see that. In the past that uh, one century back, the population has grown drastically. So there are many uh, reasons. Even humans reproduce to produce their young ones of their own kind to produce their babies. You see, all plants, they produce seeds by which new plants are produced, animals. So this reproduction, it helps the organisms to perpetuate their race, to continue their species. Otherwise, the continuity of the species is missing. The species will extinct, disappear. And this reproduction, whenever an organism, it produces another organism of its own kind. If it produces one organism X, it produces organism of another organism of same kind X. Will the newly formed organism and the parent organism are exactly identical? No, there are some differences. We will discuss what are the reasons for the differences. They may look similar. Organism X produces Y, which is similar to X. Y is similar to X but not exactly identical. There are some differences. You may be similar to your father but you are not exactly identical with your father. 
your brother and you may be similar but you both are not exactly identical there are some differences you are unique your brother is unique your father is unique your mother is unique different not matching with any uh, anyone on this planet so the reproduction it brings variations some changes in the organisms these variations variation means little changes in the organisms these variations they help for the important process in biology evolution of species variations are basis for the evolution of species if these variations are not there this many species are not evolved even the human beings we might have not been evolved into the homo sapiens sapiens human beings if there are no variations there are no variations if there is no reproduction so that is the importance of reproduction so that is the reason why do organisms reproduce but here we learned one thing reproduction is a complex process it needs lot of energy and materials so this process is achieved by either plants and by animals but in different ways not in the same way plants they have different mechanisms to reproduce animals they have different mechanisms to reproduce 